Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez, period. It's about to go down. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. Put some fucking respect on it. My name, come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. And Canelo failed two drug tests. What did he say? Canelo failed two drug tests. You know fucked up, you know that, don't you? Canelo failed two drug tests. Ah, you motherfucker. Oh, please, Jesus, let me kill this Though Jaime man. wasn't allowed to fulfill his dream, 2018, on Saturday night, he will do just that. Oh, wow! Motherfucker. All right. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. <laughs> Yo. I can't, I can't even get the intro out, man. I, I, Y'all gotta forgive me. I can't. I'm gonna try. Hold on. Let me compose myself. What's good? <laughs> yeah, man, forget it today, man. I'm just gonna get into it, man. Did y'all see what Oscar and Canelo said to each other? He's a fucking asshole. That's what I say. He's a fucking asshole. Motherfucker. Whatever All right. Want, I'm a for you too, motherfucker. Bro, I, I, I'd have been cursed out plenty of times. Many a times. I, I ain't never been cursed out this. English and Spanish by the same person. World champion. Tienen que escribirle lo que tiene que decir este pinche maricón, cabrón. Tú lo escribes. ¿Qué lo escribes, pendejo? What did he say? In English, please. Mr. Cinnamon. He's a fucking asshole. That's what I say. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> Yo, yo, this man, yo, this joke is too funny. And then you got Jaime McGee over here sitting there like. <laughs> yo, they're smiling. He don't know what's going on, man. Bro, I I'm not gonna lie, man. You know what I'm saying? They done call my boy Oscar De La Cokehead. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> They done call my boy Oscar De La Fishnets. Me blood clot. Hey yo, what the fuck? Man, it's Oscar De La Hoya, man. Put some respect on my boy name, man. That's the golden boy, man. Y'all better stop playing with him, man. So put some fucking respect on it. My name, come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but Canelo was not going. Canelo was not having it, man. Canelo done called him all types of words, man. I'm from Florida. I, I speak Spanish. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a must. It's mandatory when you live, it, live over here, man. Um, you know, I took a couple years of school, but but I don't speak Spanish fluently. But I understood what the heck he was talking about. I heard nothing but bad words. <laughs> he called them all types of putas, all types of bitches, all types of pussies, all types of maricons. I said, hey, yo. This man Canelo is not playing with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> but, bro, go, but Oscar said, put some respect on my name, man. You heard what my boy, man, channeled, it, channeled his inner bird, man. But look, check this out, though. I really think um, Canelo has to be careful because this could be Oscar's ploy, man. You know, he took some notes from Ryan Garcia. You know, distractions could do a lot, you know, and, and, and pretty much Canelo is a, is a favorite. He should be the big favorite, you know. Uh, Munguia is definitely stepping up in this game. He hasn't, he hasn't fought anybody near to the caliber of fight with Canelo. You know, and it's pretty much a foregone conclusion, seemingly. Um, upsets do happen in boxing, but seemingly this seems like a, 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 a foregone conclusion. I think Canelo outclasses him, but you cannot underestimate Munguia, man. He is a young bull. He's coming to fight. I think it's going to be a good fight, man. And, you know, he definitely has a heart of a line. So, <laughs> but, hey, Oscar almost got hands put on him, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you see, he channeled his inner Caleb Plant too. He called him a motherfucker. Yeah. Favorite American curse word. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> fuck. Uh, finally know what motherfucker means now. Him. Yeah. Now I know. I'm sorry to Caleb. He learned that. He learned that one from him. So he said he loves that word too, man. So Oscar, hey, Oscar, better be careful, baby. Hey, the Golden Boys for to get the paws put on him. <laughs> Hey, Oscar better be careful, man. We might, hey, we might see uh, two fights on May 4th, you know. Disregarding the undercard, we might see a uh, Canelo fight Munguia and they're running the crowd and beat up uh, uh, Oscar. If B-Hop ain't careful, he better, <laughs> he 
you might get a piece of uh, old cinnamon too. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. You know I had to tap in with y'all, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the little mini confrontation, you know what I'm saying, the war of words between Canelo and Oscar, man. Canelo better be careful, man. Focus on Munguia. You know, uh, whew, man, this is interesting. This is interesting. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Love y'all. Doctors out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.